Recreational marijuana has been legal since the beginning of 2018 in California, and you would think it's a burgeoning business, but there are so many challenges that face this industry. In fact, uh, shockingly, we are even behind Colorado. I'm joined today by John Warm. He's the CEO of NUG, a vertically integrated cannabis business. And John, Colorado, of course, they've had a head start, but we have more people and it's been a part of our culture. It feels like for a longer point in time, what is, what's going on? Why are we so far behind? Well, there's a, there's a lot of issues that we're facing here in California that are keeping the market compressed relative to Colorado. And the tax regulators here in the state are seeing that. And, you know, they're t collecting about 25 or 30 percent of what they expected in tax revenue. So we do have a fundamental issue. And the way, I, what I like to point out is that we've had medical marijuana in California since 96. Uh, and it's, it's been, you know, over, that's two decades of time that we have been developing a cannabis industry here in California, even prior to uh, the, the re recreational regulations that are in place now. So when regulators had to begin regulating and figuring out how to get their arms around this industry, it was already a very, very large industry. So it, it is a big challenge and quite a different challenge than what Colorado had. But interestingly, you're talking about an industry that was very large before re recreational was legalized. Yes. But the numbers have since diminished, which seems counterintuitive. That's right. Well, I'd argue that that industry is that our industry is still of the same size, but it's split now between a uh, a regulated compliant industry and a black market, which is actually thriving in California. So the buyers are still here. The demand for cannabis products is still here. It's just the regulated marketplace is not, uh, has not developed and, and to full scale to accommodate all that size of the industry yet. So in your opinion, do you feel like the barriers to entry from a, a, a business perspective are just too high? Yes, it is difficult to, to jump through all the hoops, the regulatory hoops, to find a compliant piece of property and, and, and get it across the, the regulatory you know, uh, finish line. That takes time, it takes 12 to 18 months. Great. So I do I, think that we will start seeing a ramp up in businesses. But, but to put a, you know, a fine point on it, California voters overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly approved Prop 64, which approved adult use uh, cannabis. But today, as we sit here today, only about 15 to 20 percent of municip municipalities across the state are allowing cannabis. Well, so the we have a, we have a big problem. Well, the said, we, right. we recommend a moratorium until right. the state can figure it out. That's right. And so when that comes to doing business in these places, how does that affect you guys? Well, there are some, some municipalities that have regulations on the books. They make it very easy to come in. You can, pl you can uh, go uh, walk up to the counter and get an application and start the process. But that, uh, that's only in about 10 or 15, maybe 20% of municip municipalities. The others, if you want to open up a new, uh, a new area, a new market, it's a lot of lobbying. It's a lot of working with regulators. It's helping them understand the, the issues and be comfortable with cannabis and, and letting them know that there is a way to craft craft local ordinances that are going to be friendly to the business and friendly to the community. It's so interesting. I feel like licensing is a big one and, and, and municipalities not being on board. But you talk about the black market. How does that play into all of this? Well, that's, that is a two-pronged uh, sort of issue. I mean, it, it's, it's not good for the state. The state's not getting its tax dollars uh, from that side of the business. And, uh, you know, it's not good for consumers because they're getting unregulated products that may or may not be tested, may be bad quality. But it's also very challenging for licensed businesses like myself. We are good actors. We pay very high taxes. We pay, uh, you know, all of our employees. And we have a lot of carrying costs. And to, for us to compete in the marketplace with a black market that doesn't have to pay those taxes, that is is undercutting us on price and quality, uh, it's just really challenging. It's right, very and it, challenging. it goes against what the state was after to begin mm -hmm. with. I mean, what is the impetus? I get, is it that it's just too expensive, it's just too hard, or is there not enough regulation and are there aren't any teeth to go after these people? Well, the state is stepping up enforcement, so that's good. We are seeing enforcement of, of underground operations, so that that is positive. Really, the fundamental issue in term is, is that we have a constricted marketplace. And what I m mean by that is that we have far fewer, we have about 20% of the number of dispensaries in California today as we did in 2017. Which is crazy to me yes. because that was right before it was legal, and now that it's legal for adult recreational use, 
you have fewer people selling it? Yes, you do. And and that is the, you know, that is the touch point for the consumer. The consumer has less places to go to to get the product, which just makes it it's just it's just difficult. It's easier for them to call their old dealer and go meet them on a corner and and buy something. That needs to change and that is changing. More and more retail stores are opening up, you know, every day, every month, and we will start to see uh, you know, the market expand more and I think as the market expands and, and the ease of access uh, increases, I think we'll see better regulations, better knowledge, uh, a, a more informed consumer, and ultimately more tax revenue to the state. So what do you, how do we get there, though? I mean, what do you think the big two or three things that need to happen are in order to make that breakthrough? Really, I'd say that there's one big thing, and we just need more retail stores in the state. There are plenty of cultivators. There are plenty of manufacturers. There are plenty of distributors. We need more retail stores across the state. Interesting. All right. Well, if people want to find out more about you and your product, what do they need to know? Please look us up. We're at nug.com, and you can find our products at, at just about any licensed dispensary across the state. All right. You heard it here. Thanks so much. You guys have a great day.